Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of integer operations. This is standard 6.3D in the great state of Texas and we are using number 12 off the 2016 release star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work the problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we've got four players that are competing in golf. We have their names and their scores. And the team's sum is the team's score. So what we need to do is we need to find the team's score. So this little clue right here lets us know that we're going to need to find the sum of Brett and Elliot and Lynn and Tyrone. And in golf, the lower the number, the better. So we need to find the team score here. So we're looking at integer. So that's just positive and negative whole numbers is what those are. And here's the trick. How do we add negative numbers? What does that look like? Well, first let's go ahead and write it out. So I'm just going to use a whole bunch of parentheses here. So we've got negative 2. Remember, sum means plus. So we're just going to add everything. Plus 3. There's already a positive there, so I'm not going to go ahead and double that up. I could if I, if I wanted to. Plus positive 3 is the same as plus 3. Plus, and here's the tricky part, negative 4. How do you add negative 4? And how do you add negative 1? That's going to equal my sum. Well, probably the easiest way to do this would be to look at a number line. So let's, let's draw a number line here. And we got a whole lot of negative, three or negative. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, I'm going to kind of put zero right here. And uh, we'll get positive if we need to. But let's just make some jumps. So we're going to start from zero. And we're going to hit this first one right here, negative two. So we're going to start at zero because the team starts with no score. And then going to move back minus one, minus two. So let's go ahead and label these right here. So we are here at negative 2. And this is where we have with Brett. So let's put a B right here. Now we need to add 3. Remember, whenever we add, we're going to the right. So we need to add 3. So we're going to jump back again. I'll kind of jump below here. 1, 2, 3. So we're actually going to end up in the positive. And that is with Elliot right here. Now we have a plus negative 4. That's kind of the tricky one right there, right? Plus is usually to the right, negative to the left. Here's the trick, guys. Whenever you get a positive and a negative, let's make that a negative right there, or a negative and a positive. doesn't matter which order which comes first. They both equal negative. So a positive and a negative make a negative. So that means I'm going to go to the left 4. So I'm going to start with Elliot. I started at 1. I'm going to jump 1, 2, 3, 4. So we're at negative 3 now. And this is Lynn. And then finally, I need to do another negative 1. So that's going to be Tyrone. So we're going to jump right here. We're just going to go negative 1. Boom. So it looks like my answer is negative 4. Is there a way we can do that without using a number line, though? Probably is. Let's see if we can simplify some of these. So negative 2 plus 3. Remember, a positive and a negative make a negative. So adding a negative is the same as subtracting. So we could just simply say that is minus 4. And then a positive and a negative right here plus negative 1 is the same as subtracting 1. So minus 1. So if we want, what we could do is, uh, let's use the commutative order, and let's kind of flip those, right? Let's say 3 minus 2 minus 4 minus 1. And let's collapse these. These are all similar, right? So 3 minus 2 and minus 4 is minus 6. And that's minus 7. So really what we're looking at is 3 minus 7, and that makes sense. 3 minus 7 is going to be negative 4, and so that is going to be our answer, H.